Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yen. Super excited for today. Today is going to be a final update slash vlog of my adrenal fatigue recovery. So stay tuned. So today it's really, really a happy day for me. Um, it's my birthday and it actually marks the 40th day since I began um, the whole adrenal fatigue um, recovery journey. Yes, please check out the video if you have not done so. I've uploaded at least, I think, three videos uh, talking about adrenal fatigue as well as how to um, ex uh, you know, like assess where you are at. I know I said I wanted to upload a lot more videos. Um, I'm so sorry, guys, if I didn't really do that. Um, I obviously have overestimated what I was able to do but then you know the whole entire journey was quite an experience for me to be able to vlog this as well as share with you the journey so this video is going to be um, you know talking about uh, what I've done what I have not done what I have learned and um, and what I'm going to do you know from here onwards especially since today it's my birthday so yeah all right so it's gonna be what's gonna happen here ah before i forget i just want to show you the view from my room it's a beautiful day today it's um as you can see it's 10 30 in the morning i start off late so but yeah as you can see i'm not sure if you can actually see so this is the skyline of the um, area where I'm staying, the neighborhood, and actually over that corner there, it's where the sea is. So my room actually faces this way here. My room actually faces the um, sorry, too close. Um, actually faces the sunset over there. So at about five to six p.m., um, I will see beautiful orange you know, um, sunset, which I might have, which I probably have uploaded a couple of videos with that. And, you know, then at the back of my room over this side, it's where the sun rises. So I don't know if you can actually see from the corner over there, you know, that's where actually the sun rises. I'm, I'm unable to see it from here. So yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. That's why, you know, I'm not using any lights. It's just sunlight. All right, so um, remember the... Let me just adjust this a little bit more. Yeah. So, okay, there you go. So remember the other time when I shared about the assessment the check-in assessment where I was using this sheet. So I actually did record a mid-view, mid-way um, video. However, I have not gone down to editing it and uploading it. So I decided to just compile everything all in this video. All right. Um, so uh, yeah, which, which you will get to see. So now we are on our final date. So I'm going to be writing this down, as you can see. So final date here, it would be, um, I'm going to use maybe purple. Okay. 3rd August 20. So, the first question, how well have you been sleeping on a daily basis? So, I'm going to go through the 10 questions and then, you know, um, just share with you what I have been doing and uh, my, my, you know, my ups and downs. So, how well have I, have I been sleeping? Zero for very poor, 10 to excellent. <clears throat> mm, I've been sleeping pretty good, a lot much uh, better, not so much for the last... Uh, five days though so i would still say i'm sleeping really really good i'm happy about that i'm going to rate it on an eight number two how well do you feel you're able to handle stresses on a daily basis mm, 
Well, it's about the same as midway, so about seven, I guess. Three, how would you rate your appetite? Still very good, so I'll put it as a ten. And uh, four, how often do you crave any food? <clears throat> um, yeah, lately I've been craving just a little bit more, so I'm just going to show you. Just going to dip that point down from ten to nine. In the last month, how often do you feel moody or experience mood swings? Actually, a lot better, so this has been fluctuating. I'm about to put like seven. How often do you feel bloated or constipated? None at all. This has been really good. Really happy with my digestive system going on so far. How often have you been drinking about 3 liters of hun or 100 ounces of water? Okay, so that hasn't been quite uh, consistent. So I'm just going to rate myself back on uh, 6 for that one. Like some days I do 3s. Some days I only do like um, a liter. So it's bad. <laughs> How often do you feel migraines, headaches, or giddiness? That has actually been a lot better. Like, I don't feel that sudden drop in, uh, like, maybe it's blood pressure. My blood pressure is fine, so I don't feel that giddiness as much. So I'm going to put it as like a 7. How stable are your energy levels? So when I do sleep well and wake up, it's been pretty stable. And uh, I feel super productive and just happy because I'm able to to accomplish what I wanted to do as well as you know have my self-care routine as well so my energy levels have been pretty good so I'm going to put that like eight and is your menstrual cycle regular and predictable predictable in terms of flow and occurrence so it's very predictable in fact I'm actually experiencing a little bit shorter cycle this time around so um, I am probably going to still put at 7 because it's predictable but yet just, sorry, it's regular but still just a little bit off predictable. So these are my score. Alright, I'm just going to tally up for you real quick here. So my score for today, for day 40, it's 79. So I started off 25th June with 63, midway checked, 70, and now I'm 79. And I would say it's really a good score for me at least. I feel good, you know, because there's progression. And it's really about um, managing my sleep uh, for me personally because once I get my sleep in, I'm able to have better energy and um, being able to handle uh, stresses much better and not feeling the giddiness as much. A, um, so, so yeah, I'm excited to hear what, you know, how you're scoring if you're on, you know, doing this with me as well. Um, so, I'm going to talk a bit about what I actually have done you know, since the beginning of this thing and midway through. So as I mentioned, I've been um, working on my sleep and um, <clears throat> and I want <clears throat> to talk about maybe two things here. One is the mindset or brain training. So I'm meant to do a book review. So I'm just going to just briefly show you and that is... Um, if you have not, oh, by the way, I like to, you know, like, one thing about books, I don't get it, is that if it's a hardcover copy, why can't they just print it directly on the book, right? And why give me this loose piece of paper? Because it's like, I feel like I have more, more pages to take care of. Anyway, this book, it's called Limitless, How to... Um, upgrade your brain, learn anything faster, and unlock your fullest potential. So basically, this book is written by world-renowned um, um, brain coach called Jim Quick. Check him out. You know he's really an um, very inspiring and an awesome and very humble dude. You know, a humble guy. So a bit of his background, his you know, thought as the boy of a broken brain, he, he had a car accident when he was five and doctors basically said that that would impair his learning capability 
and 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 one day in school his teachers just basically call him like oh you're the boy of a broken brain and ever since that day i think it it left very deep mark in his in his life uh because he was struggling a lot in school and obviously later on in life and then that became his you know his his struggle and he overcame that and now he he coaches top athletes top ceos um and actors and actresses you name it you know um in unlocking this brain his um he's very, he's, a, he's a really awesome guy I mean, you can check him out he has podcasts he has ebooks and for you know for his instagram um yeah i'm just giving a shout out to jim quick <laughs> so uh oh yeah and he has a lifelong dream of being in on on the set of marvel um um the marvel cast cuz his um He's a Marvel fan, and he always, you know, dreams of dream of like that's his that's his tribe, and um, I don't want to spoil too much because I you know I think he should be the one who's telling his story to you. And uh, a sneak peek though is that he was that good that he got invited to a set on um, on uh, I think the third release of the um, of the X Men. Um, yeah, on the X Men series, you should go check it out. It's really super inspiring. So anyway, my point is, the book, the Miller's book, you know, he talked about, um, obviously some background, and then he talked about his um, three M methods on how we can um, unlock this brain. Now, I'm, I want to perhaps share with you something, and that is, I've always been big on personal development uh, since young. I think uh, the brain is really a very powerful thing that we that we sometimes fail to or forgot not fail yeah forgot to um, harness it to its fullest maximum potential. I mean, when you look at kids, right? They we always use the term they are like a sponge. You give them anything, they just absorb it and learn it and remember it and 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 infiltrate into their life. And funny thing is that as we get older. Uh, we sort of, you know, maybe get overwhelmed or confused by all the different information that is going around our environment and our brain needs to constantly filter it. So for about maybe five, six years, I admit that I have fallen off the bandwagon a little bit in terms of personal development or rather in terms of brain development activities and, and work. And uh, because you know, like part of the journey on adrenal fatigue is to work on my sleep as well and um, self-care. But I got this book. I, I literally just finished it um, last week and really, really excited to share with you. See, I've made so much notes. I'm going to probably read through it again um, as well. So one thing I want to share with you here that really helped me a lot in this journey was... <clears throat> His book talks about, um, well, let's see. His book talks a lot about things, but essentially it's about priming your brain, getting into a certain routine, and obviously also supporting the brain and the routine with um, positive habits, nutrition, you know, movement, exercise, etc. Because routine leads to mastery well good routine leads to mastery so we are therefore creatures of habits you know we are results of our habits and choices that we make in life so reading his book it's like a coach talking to me you know like yen you know what you got to do you know you know all this stuff however you are not bridging the gap to act out what you already know or set out to do and somehow this book just comes in so handy for me in terms of reframing my mind and most of all giving me the steps to to actually do that and and i feel really you know energized and empowered actually uh, by it so yes about routine that is the second thing i want to highlight to you um Remember, I, I, I shared with you about this, you know, big ass schedule that I wanted to do for my week, weekdays and my weekends. Well, 
I never quite got down to it until I think about two weeks ago. I actually managed to, to get into my routine and I, that's when I feel like, oh my gosh, routine really makes and breaks my life in general. And, um, and, and definitely working on my sleep, my movement, my eating habits and even my sleep routine as well. So what I've done is, I'm just going to show you here, is that I did two things. So in terms of routine, what I've done is I actually, you know, literally printed out this um, blank page and I squeeze in like what I want to do, you know, and obviously I just were like getting to a flow state. Oh yeah, that's another um, uh, thing that, that Jim Quick mentioned in his book. And this has helped me a lot, you know, like it, it helps my mind to stay focused and within the boundaries and not get overwhelmed. So guys, routine, routine is so important, you know, and, and the good thing about routine is that if let's say I fall off a schedule, let's say I didn't manage to do my 2 p.m. thingy, I don't, you know, like, I'm not like mad at myself. I just get back to it. Um, cause you know, we all have the same 24 hours a day, right? So just get back to it. Yeah. And the second thing later on I did was about, you know, self-compassion. Uh, especially when you're going through fatigue and, in, you know, like the whole pandemic thing going on, I know it can be really, really overwhelming and stressful. So I got to walk the talk, right? Like not just that, but I think most importantly is like, yeah, self-compassion. Um, like instead of looking at the things that I have not done, I decided to celebrate small wins. Um, and that's the second thing I did here. So I created a new like calendar, right? So as you can see, I actually started this around 22nd July. Actually, I began a little bit before that, but I only got down to print it from 22nd July. So what I did was I printed out something like that. And the aim of this calendar is, as you can see, I wrote here, celebrating small wins, compound effect. Obviously, this means um, that I wanted to say the celebrating small wins, the power of compound effect, like Basically, all, this, all the compounding effect of small wins lead to big wins, right? And then uh, write what I've done or accomplished for the day that is towards my goal. And my goal is joy, health, freedom, and love. So, so yeah, like on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, Sunday. Okay, this day I skipped it, my bad. But, you know, I just moved on. And then, you know, here you can see there's only like, one or two or three stuff and here's only one stuff so my point here i'm trying to tell you here is that sometimes filling things up like that can be a double-edged sword depending on you know your personality and what's happening here is that as you can see i started off like filling up a whole long stuff a whole long uh, i mean like a lot of things and you know, for those who are like type A or like super accomplishers, they feel super good um, as well. So what I did is that I actually forced myself to write, even if it's only one thing that I've accomplished, um, no matter how s small it may seem, I'm going to put that down. So it's like training the brain to be looking at the positives. It, it's similar to, you know, the gratitude practice. Like, can you just name one thing that you are grateful for today? Because that sets, that trains the brain and sets off the whole positive energy stuff. So it's the same concept here. <clears throat> um, yes, there were some days, as you can see on Monday, I, I probably try as hard to put in something, but I didn't put in, you know. And it could be a really small thing. It could be as simple as, um, it could be as simple as just like, oh, I did a 20-minute workout. To I did a 20 minute walk or for me it could be like oh I did a 15 minute meditation you know like really successful so little things like that um, it may not be super super big but uh, literally the whole aim is to celebrate small wins um, 
Yeah, and the third thing that I've done is supplements. Yes, I did say I want to do a video on supplements, a full-length video on supplements. So I would do that uh, probably sometime, you know, yeah, this month will be my schedule. But uh, yeah, but for now, I want to just quickly go through some stuff with you. Um, a bit of a disclaimer here, because, um, you know, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a functional medicine doctor, so I'm not recommending or suggesting that you take these. Um, I have worked with a naturopath previously, and some of them were recommended by my naturopath. Some, um, I have found that it's been effective for me for a long while. So, uh, supplements. So, these are my typical supplements. Just gonna show you everything. As you can see, some of them are like. Actually, I have a couple more, but I threw them away. Actually, one more. I have this as well. This was because of Jim Quick. Ha! All right. So essentially, uh, this one you might have heard of it before for fatigue. It's called ashwagandha. Uh, by the way, I'm a supporter of noun foods. Now foods, most of their stuff uh, seem to be, I say seem because I haven't been to their lab or the factory to know, to ascertain any things, but they seem to be really like um, as natural as possible, you know, and they give quality f stuff. You could, yeah. So ashwagandha, proven to, uh, well, not proven, but more like, it's a, one of the herbs to manage adrenal fatigue stress. Uh, there are some caveat that I know about this is that not all adrenal fatigue cases work optimally with ashwagandha, meaning to say that it may cause the adrenal fatigue symptoms to worsen. So that's the reason why I say it's best to really work with a naturopath, especially if you have never done this before. Uh, so as to, you know, get you back on track, all right? And, and I got vitamin C, obviously, good antioxidants. It's empty. <laughs> I still kept the bottle. Well, I got this when I was in Seattle. I mean, yeah. And then my naturopath actually recommended me to get phosphatidyl serine. Okay. I got this from Jaro's Formula. Um, yeah, so I typically um, shuffle between Now Brand and Jarrell's Formula. So according to this manual, it basically says it supports healthy cognitive function. Um, further research, or rather what my uh, naturopath mentioned, that it will help in terms of, you know, the, the, the hypothalamus pituitary side of things and then i also got again it's empty um oh yes l-theanine he recommended l-theanine but actually he recommended with the relora so this has been my sleep saver most days so uh yeah as you can see it's a whole um ingredient list and one way I like to do my supplements is that I like to have a wean off period. Wean off period. Uh, basically, what it means is that if I have been taking them for let's say one month, let's say for a month or two or three, I like to take like a break for a month before I restart the cycle. Because um, two things: one, I like to see where my body is. You know what I mean. And second thing is I don't want the body to be over reliant on exogenous support like that like if i ne if i perpetually have to be relying on, on these to go to sleep or or these to feel like managing my energy it tells me that my lifestyle routine is still not uh well primed for it right unless of course uh your naturopath still continue to recommend it okay and um yeah other subs would be like omega-3s uh for obvious reason for the brain a um 
To be, to be fair, I don't always take this on a monthly basis. Uh, I try to get them from um, natural food. All right, and then the last thing I've been trying to take for the last three months consistently, it's a uh, B complex, complex B, yeah, B complex. Um, I do want to add actually um, B5. Yeah, I want to add more B5 and B12 as well. And I also want to add magnesium to it. So I might want to do that this month or the month after next. I'll see how it goes. So yeah, so these are like my supplements. Um, I'll talk more about it specifically in a, in, in a, in a, in a video for adrenal fatigue. Sorry. In terms of exercise, I, I honestly have not done more than maybe 10 out of this 40 days. It's either I do a short Tai Chi, um, like full on Tai Chi video, or I do my weights, or I just do um, some kind of like mobility flow as well. So um, yeah, just that's really what I've been, you know, trying to do. Um, but I think this month I want to do more recording on, on the workout thing. Um, you know, just need to know if that's something that you guys like to see as well. All right, so that's really, I guess, about it for my 40-day um, recovery journey. So thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. You know, please subscribe to my channel as well so that we can grow together to learn how to take charge of our own um, health. So stay safe, guys, and stay healthy. Stay sane, please. Uh, drink lots of water. Wash your hands and wear a mask. You know, be socially responsible. All right, guys. Um, till then, to the next video. Love you all. Bye.